Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel C++ Learning Point. I hope that you guys are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to cover another concept of C++. We are going to have a look that what is the concept of console output and how can we take the number inside a variable in C++. So let's get started. And before starting the video, I request you guys to please subscribe to my YouTube channel C++ Learning Point. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my YouTube channel C++ Learning Point. So let's get started. So first of all you need to open your compiler dev C++. So for that purpose we just need to open our compiler dev C++. After opening the compiler you just need to create a new source file. I am going to create a new source file from here. I am going to write h include isstream i stream then h include conio dot h then using namespace std int main that is our main function then get ch so i have created a new source file i have written all the necessary uh, basic files so uh, you just need to understand a thing that uh, the thing that is being used for consoling output all the uh, all the content on our console we use specific reserver the reserver are also known as keywords and keywords are the basic built-in functions uh, that are used to uh, use for different kind of purposes and we we can use them on basic uh, on specific occasion in C++ so just like just uh, if you want to print out any kind of statement on your console you have to write C out now here C out C out stands for console output and C out is being used here with the pair of two exertion operator exertion operator all those operator that are used to exert that are used to output any kind of value the value of variable or the value of statement on the console these are referred as exertion operator so c out hello world hello world so when whenever you want to put a c out hello world so this will print out the statement this will print out the statement now i'm going to execute the statement f11 save so you can see here that hello world is right now visible on our compiler on our console screen so definitely we have understand the concept that the c out is used for consoling the output now we are going to write c out and we if what if we write by word now you can write here and then F11. so here you can see that now it's breaking the line if you remove the end l and l stand for end line it will print the output on the same line because as we are working on a programming language that it must be applicable on different kind of things that uh, programming language understand the syntax of spacing if you don't give the space it will not get it so for this purpose we just need to write end l and the line will be end it and the things will start from the new line so this is the concept of console output the thing and use of endl in c++ you can also create a multiple statement uh, using c out but the point is that you just need to get one more additional thing that whenever you want to console output the value of any variable uh, you can't embed that variable name inside the inverted commas or strophe for example if i have a variable that is named as number i can't if i if i want to output the value of the variable so i have to write the variable name here so as you can see in the line number six and line number nine there are the different is that the on line six that the variable value is amended uh, the way the value of the statement is amended inside the inverted commas and in this case it's not amended 
so that's the main difference so that's all from today's video i hope you guys like the video and if you like the video then do subscribe my youtube channel c plus plus learning point and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel thank you